and we're back. And Leon is angry because he got shot thanks to a woman who he saved her life and she just ran off. Yeah. This is a place that I died so much the first time that I did it. And also I did it wrong, and I'll explain as we go. Ada! Uh. Alright, pop quiz. How many bullets does it take to kill this thing? The answer will be in a second. Come on, guess it, guess it. That would be one. First time I fought this thing, I empty all of my guns shooting at it. I died many times, but believe it or not, you can actually defeat it like that. The thing is that it doesn't die, it just breaks a wall and runs away. But it's a completely and stupid way to kill him, considering that you can kill it with one bullet. Yeah. That's Resident Evil for ya. Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll pet you up. Oh, she's so nice. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. So I forgot to mention last time, I believe. I'm not sure, but... I guess you already figured it out, she's the same Ada mentioned on the first Resident Evil on the file at the end of the lab, that there was this file that said that the password was John and Ada. Well, that's the thing, she's the dot Ada that was mentioned on that file. So she's, she now has a connection with the storyline, considering that her boyfriend uh, used to work for Umbrella, now that she's told that he's dead and she's looking for him but well her search is over but we'll learn more about more about her as we go through the game so it's a really interesting thing i mean to see a connection from the first resident evil to the second one right now leon is like the only outside um element from the game that came in as a new character because the, the rest of them are connected somehow to the to what happened on the first one like Claire is a sister of Chris so in that aspect she's connected to him at least Leon eventually would have met Chris since he was gonna be working on the same building and than him so technically it's uh, he's now part of this whole thing it's gonna be really interesting as we go through the rest of the games. They're gonna be putting puzzles together and uh, really interesting things happen. Oh no, there's zombies. I don't want to fight you. That's a waste of time and bullets. If we go pretty fast, I think I'm going to be able to reach the lab. That would mean that we would be very close to the end of this game. Yeah, that's how sewers work in real life put coins in a little box and all of the water goes away. All 
of the toilet water. Where? Who are? What the hell happened there? Huh? Hey, Ada wants to hug me or something. She's like walking very close to me. Hey, lady, behave. What's around here? Mm, no. I guess not. It's kind of weird how they kind of emphasize that side. Maybe it has to do something with Claire A. Leon B. scenario, maybe. I don't know. together. Uh, you know, I think you have to shoot it. But, I don't know, I always have. I don't know. I don't know. That is so freaky! Yeah, I know. Music in the background. You know the drill. <laughs> um, yeah. So here there's a thing that you can do without doing this that you use your lighter and all of a sudden there's a shiny thing on the side thing is that you can actually pick it up without lighting that flare thing but later on I'll be able to demonstrate that Hidden item! Ta da! This makes our shotgun better. It's similar to what we saw with the regular handgun. Uh, oh, this thing is glitchy. You can't even read it well. Anyways, that's how it is. Uh, it's very powerful. I'll show you later on how it works. Um, but there are there are even more powerful weapons later on, and you'll see. Almost there. Ah, uh, Ada, back off! Shoot at them! Shoot at them! Ah, oh, you're so cute, Ada! Shoot at them! Shoot at them! Guess I'll show you now how this works. <laughs> yeah, nobody will survive that. Not even a zombie. Oh. If you do a headshot instead of his head exploding, his whole body will explode, so... Yeah. I mean, his whole top side of his body. Like from the chest all the way to the brain and the arms, and it'll be just two legs walking around. But if you shoot too much on the stomach, you may torn the body in two, making them drag themselves towards you. So it's kind of annoying to do body shots. 
It's a little unlikely for them to survive such shots, but I always try and make sure and do headshots. If they're coming at me in a huge group, then I guess there's no problem with, uh, with doing a body shot just for the sake of getting rid of a, a bunch of them. You have so many bullets. At the end of the game, I'm not going to be able to use all of them, actually. But I try and make sure always to have more than what I need. That's my motto. this thing so that we may descend to the underground lab just like we did on the first one only that this time around it's even deeper it's really interesting how uh, both games resemble themselves in that aspect you start off normal in the city or whatever and then you descend down to their lab to their headquarters but basically, you'll see later on why is it that they have to go there in order to ex to escape the city. Although it's kind of strange, I mean, I'm fighting zombies still, so... I would basically just walk out of town or something. <laughs> or I would look for a car... ...and just drive out of town. Why not? Why do they have to go through so much crap? Doesn't make any sense. on the screen if you shoot at the right an right angle but I think it only works with that gun I'm not really sure if it works with anything else since it does a scatter shot then that's why it does that don't 
die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on! Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But... I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But... You'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Yeah. That's Leon for you. Hitting on the girl who's wounded. <laughs> She's kind of flirting on him, too. Rawr. More bullets. Okay, so this is a good spot to stop. And next time we'll be entering Umbrella Secret Lab. Very nice. Very nice. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.